Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file. I helped him. I think it's the same gentleman I helped a few weeks ago. And he's, his question now is, how, he, how is he going to get these lines not to engrave? He's actually doing, this thing is like six by nine. And I'm going to get rid of your indexing lines for right now, and you can always go and just turn your indexing lines off. And um, so they're gone. Well, they're not all gone. Maybe I hit it twice. Wow. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they're not even indexing lines. Anyway, let's just test that. Yeah. He's drawing something else. But anyway, that's beside the point. But he wants to make sure the red lines don't engrave. Well, let's go up to object and ungroup them. And if you look, there are 500 points. They're going to engrave, but you don't need them anymore. You don't, you know, once you've designed, so if you'll take the shift key and the alt key and just run through there and then run through here, hit delete, you don't need those lines anymore. I must have missed a couple of them that were already grouped together another way. Just get rid of those lines. Uh, they were only there to build the first dom domino. The rest of them, when you need the three, just take away dominoes. You know, like, let's, sorry about that. So let's take away these two, delete, take away this one, take away this two, and that one, and then you have the three. Now, looking at your, and you did a really good job of blend. I mean, this is, a really nice blend. But before I would engrave it and do a test, take one of these out and do a test, I convert them to a bitmap. And if if you'll look in just a second, I'm going to convert it to a grayscale bitmap. I don't know why it does it, but look at the difference. There's no, no X there now. It's uh, from a distance, it actually looks a little smaller. Uh, it's the same size. And I went backwards, so I'll go back forward. Now you have to do them individually. And see from, from close up, they kind of look the same. This one here looks a little bit less centered, a little more, you know, def uh, not as defined, and a little more of a glow. Now you do have to do these individually because if you put them together, then it'll put them into one bitmap and then you can't delete them. But go through there and make those all bitmaps. Now this line, I would turn it to a hairline, make it make it a red and double click on here and make it a hairline as long as you don't do a combination job, it's not gonna engrave. And then I was just kind of looking, I like to look at everybody else's product and see, maybe find a mistake or two. Let's go to object and put order and back a page. So you've got a white dot. That should be a clear dot. So what we need to do to get rid of that, and this is a line, and it's also CMYK, and that might be, you know, you're, you know, I've been using, when people send me files, I open up files, so I can't say it's yours. But if you will go to object and convert that outline to an object, and then take away the field by left clicking, and see there's evidently more than one there. See, there's several there. So let's put that back and let's left click, no fill. Let's get rid of these. And, but see the, see the white dot? Get rid of it. And there's more than one of those. Wow. See how many there were? Uh, let's just hit the last one. Now, what you can do, so you want to have a white dot, and it'll, it, especially in CMYK, it could engrave a little bit. Smart fill this side and this side. Make sure it's RGB, and it is, because you'll get a truer black. And then that dot won't, won't engrave. Now, I would run these two jobs separately. I would actually group these two together. Whoop. 
group these two lines together, go up to object, control G and group them, make one object. I would run this first, because you're gonna run this in a 3D mode on your laser. I don't know what brand you have. X, uh, Epilog has a 3D mode that helps do this. But once you've done this, you know, you can go to bitmap and convert them all. And, uh, you know, I would do some testing on a scrap piece of wood before I did my domino. Your, you know, your blend might work good. If you look at this, and if we go to Windows, Docker's objects, that item right there is a group of 843 blends. So it's a really good blend. Now, while we got this open, you could, you know, if you know how to run your laser and you can select that item and, and just print select, and then print your 3Ds and just press select. But if you don't know how to do that, you can take this item and move it to another layer. Let's open a new layer. Go right there and open a new layer. And we, now we got layer two. And you could take this item right here, which is this group of four object, and move it into layer two. And then you could print from there because you could turn the printer off on that layer when you do your 3Ds. I don't understand the ellipse again. Maybe I didn't delete some of them on the page because we shouldn't have an ellipse anymore because we deleted them all, but maybe I had some invisible ones. The rectangle, I don't see a rectangle. Rectangle. So now we only have the rounded rectangle, which is this. And I wonder why it's not showing up. Oh, there it is right there. So what is this rectangle right here? Oh, we still have that other, other domino on the board. So that rectangle is your deal, so you can move it. It's not gonna print. As long as you don't do a combination job, it's not gonna print because it's a hairline. So you can see I've changed some of these to bitmaps, like that right there is a bitmap. And the other ones are, you know, once you do all these bitmaps, and so you could possibly run it all in one job, but I would run this as straight laser and then run this in the 3D mode. I hope that's what you were asking and thank you for watching.